my estimated revenue during this period is Hello everybody, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is NK. I create videos about life in New York. Today we are going to be talking about how much I made on YouTube in the last three months. I want to be as transparent as possible as a creator on YouTube. If you are new here, definitely subscribe. Also remember to thumbs up this video as well. If you guys have been on my channel for a while, you guys know that I did create a video how much I made on YouTube in the first month of being in the creator program. The requirements of being in the creator program. You need 4,000 watch hours on YouTube as well as 1,000 subscribers to your YouTube channel. In my opinion, getting 1,000 subscribers is far easier to achieve than getting 4,000 hours of watch time. But if you're someone who get your YouTube up and running and monetize pretty quickly, I would definitely go watch that video. There's a lot of helpful tools and resources there. I want to run through my story about YouTube, why YouTube is so important to me. I have loved creating content for years. This is before I even knew YouTube existed. This runs deep. I used to love videography and photography as a kid and that really matriculated into me learning about editing, learning different cameras, that whole world I wanted to dive into simply for myself. Then when I realized that YouTube is a platform that I can actually share my creative energy with the public, I was very excited to do that. I started my channel four years ago actually, April 15th, 2020, bringing this video to you guys simply to show you whether you are starting with a brand new account or you've had an account for years that you've abandoned, but you still want to become a monetized YouTube creator, you can definitely do it. I want to run through not only the stats, but how much I actually made, the factors that I believe contributed to the amount of money I made in this three month period. I have my laptop right here, so I will be running through the numbers and stats as well as putting them on screen for you guys. I got monetized January 15th, 2024. That was the day that I got accepted into the YouTube Partner Program. The day that you were accepted, your videos are eligible to get monetized. Pretty sure you can just turn it on automatically or YouTube turns it on automatically where every video you've ever created before that date can get monetized. Something that I absolutely love about YouTube that is so unlike any other platform, it doesn't matter how old a video is, it will most likely still to this day get traction if you use the right SEO, a very engaging topic. People can still find your video even years later. In the selected time period, January 15th to April 30th, true three month mark of my journey. In that selected period of time, my channel got 397,673 views, which is so cool. Sometimes I make videos and I'm like, maybe not a lot of people are gonna watch it. Something else I wanna mention in that point, you need to be making videos for yourself. That is the most important thing. If you are seeking social media and being a creator simply to make money, you're not gonna have a very long career. Let me tell you that right now. That is not an advantageous purpose. Also, that's gonna lead to a lot of burnout because you are going to get frustrated in your journey when you're not seeing the money come immediately the money does not come immediately that is definitely more so why I wanted to make this video even in my three months time of being on YouTube it's not a substantial crazy amount of money but it makes me proud that I am earning money doing something I love that is the takeaway here back to the stats 397,000 views 17.9 hours of watch time. My subscribers grew 2.4 thousand. My estimated revenue during this period is $1,393.35. Over $1,300 for three months of creating videos that I love and posting them for the world to see. Not too shabby in my opinion. Let's really get into how that number is calculated. That is something a lot of people get confused about. The revenue you make from YouTube is calculated by the views you earn in that period times the decimal amount of your RPM. What is RPM? Your RPM is the revenue per 1,000 views. And this is based on several revenue sources. There are other ways you can monetize on YouTube. A lot of people don't know that, so I'm gonna break it down. It's watch ads, channel memberships, YouTube premium, super chat, 
and super stickers. I personally right now only use YouTube watch ads, which are on my long form videos and shorts. I throw some math at you guys. The RPM for the period that we were talking about for me was $7.39. And as I mentioned, the revenue per 1,000 views. I want to note that although I had 397,000 views during this period, only 185,000 views qualified for ad revenue. The difference is due to YouTube's revenue share plus CPM. To calculate your actual revenue, you have to take $7.39 divided by 1,000 and that will give you the decimal amount, 0.00739. You take that decimal amount and then you multiply it by your views during that period of time. Once you multiply those two numbers, that is how you get the estimated revenue for the period that you are looking at. So when you break it down like that, it actually doesn't sound as complicated, as confusing. Let's talk about the breakdown per month to get to that number. As I mentioned, we talked about January in my previous video. January, we made $138.34. Now let's talk about February. February, we earned $288.36. Personally, I think YouTube has so many metrics and stats far beyond literally any other platform. It is so detailed, which I love. And it tells you at what point your videos are spiking in views, which videos gave you X amount of money. I look at this often just so I can see, okay, what are the people liking? In February, I really ramped up my search for my New York City apartment. Sharing my journey of finding my apartment really resonated with a lot of people and a lot of people were rooting me on on the journey, which was really exciting and comforting. A handful of videos that hit over 10,000 views in February were all based around my New York City apartment hunt. March, same situation with a twist. I got a lot more vulnerable with you guys on the stress of my apartment hunt. It's approaching the end of my current lease. I took you guys through every single emotion I was feeling, the good, the bad, the ugly. That really resonated with you guys. The videos about me finally finding my place, taking you guys through my moving process, selling my stuff in my apartment, those videos really did well. The March total was $460.80. April, I moved to the new apartment. Here we are in the new apartment. All of you guys were really excited about that, showing you guys now day-to-day -day life in the new apartment, setting it up, all the newness that came with this new apartment. This is a brand new chapter. I'm building it with you guys, getting your guys' input. There's still so much more to be done, but I love that I've been taking you guys through it bit by bit. The one video that did extremely well in April was sharing my struggles in New York. I made that video having had a really tough situation 12 hours before I made the video. It was such real raw emotion, so compelled to share exactly what I was going through in that moment. And I posted it truly not thinking anyone would even see it because it was different than the content that I had been posting. If it doesn't do well, that's fine. I post twice a week, we're gonna keep it moving. After 48 hours of it going live, the video shot up. The views were growing so fast. I was like, whoa. I hit 20K views in four days. I hit 50K views in a week. Right now, as I'm filming it, it's sitting at 76,000 views, which is so insane. Oh my God. So many people resonated with that video. It is by far my most viewed video. I'm proud of my vulnerability and I'm proud of the community I cultivated through the comments of that video. I think YouTube is the most unique platform there is. I am so proud to be a creator on this platform. I feel so empowered to show up as I am every single time I grab my camera because I know that I'm not for everybody, but there are so many people who will resonate with the content I share. And that is a beautiful thing. April's revenue was $505.86. I have been steadily growing my revenue every single month, which is motivating. I'm doing it for myself first and foremost, but I'm sharing things that other people care about. That's a really good feeling as a creator. With all of those four numbers together, that is how we get our revenue of $1,393.50.
35 cents. I'm very thankful and very proud of how far I've come in the program. Getting to do this creative outlet is a privilege. I know that and I do not take it lightly. I did want to talk about shorts for a hot second. Shorts are such a great way to grow your platform, get more eyes on your platform. Shorts are just being pushed out so much more. I had one shorts go semi-viral. It got 31,000 views. Shorts revenue was $23.00. Six cents. Keep in mind, your revenue is also based on your watch time. You will earn more money for your longer videos because they are longer. If one goes viral, great, that's exciting, but it's more so to just get more eyes on my content and use shorts as a vehicle to point people to your channel, get more exposure, and literally how I've been using shorts the entire time. I'm realizing how important it is to speak your truth and share your goals. It really helps them manifest. I want to hit 10,000 subscribers on YouTube by August. And you know what? I should say it as an affirmation statement. I will hit 10,000 followers on YouTube by the end of August 2024. Put it out in the universe month to get to 10,000 subscribers. We got this. You are watching this, and if you're not subscribed, help your girl out. Subscribe to my channel. I have fun content. I'm a cool girl. I just want to leave you guys with some takeaways. Show up as yourself. No matter what you do, your purpose should always be showing up as yourself. A lot of mistakes I've seen with other people are trying to fit a mold or trying to fit a niche that doesn't inherently align with them because then you're really stretching yourself and the content doesn't come off authentic. You're gonna face burnout really quickly. So don't do that. Pick things that are true to you. YouTube is so big and so many people use the platform and there will always be so many people who vibe with your content. So don't even worry about finding a community. The community will find you once you decide. Put yourself out there. Don't be afraid to experiment with different types of content. That last statement and this statement might feel contradictory, so let me explain. Show up as yourself every damn day, but don't be afraid to try new things because we are all multifaceted individuals. We all contain multitudes and we have multiple interests. If you want to stick to one thing, that's great, but don't be afraid to try different things. I just gave an example of me sharing something about mental health, which I had never shared anything about mental health specifically in one video. That is now my most viewed video. Given how SEO is so strong, there are so many people searching so many different things. If you're into cooking, and if you're into makeup, and if you're into running, you can post all three, and there will be different people who will vibe with each one. The last and I think most important thing, if you really are serious about being a YouTube creator, journey is long, but it is worth it. Don't get discouraged. I've had this channel for four years. It would honestly be a shame if I gave up, wouldn't it? Because you wouldn't be here watching this and I wouldn't have a collection of videos that make me so proud and that I get to share with you guys. Before I start getting emotional, I just wanna say thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that this was informative. I hope that this was helpful to hear a real creator sharing her journey of how much she's made on YouTube. I think being transparent is really important in this space as well. Subscribe to my channel if you are new here. Remember to thumbs up this video. I share videos twice a week. There will never be a dull moment and I will see you guys in my next one. Thank you.